For years, it was thought that an adult Argentinosaurus would be too big for any predator to tackle. But in 2006, a new discovery suddenly made even the biggest dinosaurs a lot more vulnerable. As they dug into the Argentinian dirt, they didn't just find one predator buried here. The skeletons of at least seven Mapusaurus of different ages and sizes were found together. It suggested that this was a group. A giant killer that appears to hunt in gangs. And more than capable of taking on the very biggest dinosaurs. a fully grown Argentinosaurus is safe from this group. The best defense is their sheer size. Mapusaurus's teeth are perfectly designed like blades to slice off chunks of flesh. With prey so large, a single bite isn't always fatal. It appears Mapusaurus could just snack, feeding from its victim without actually killing it. The victim surviving to provide more food at a later date. But even in a group, these giant killers are never far away from danger. Attacking an animal more than ten times your weight carries grave risks. Even with the threat of predators hunting in gangs, the phenomenal size of these giants would usually keep them safe. But a giant needs to grow. It's the younger, smaller animals that are in greatest danger from giant predators. And here, in Africa, there is... Things are about to get even worse for the young Paralititan. Around the river of giants, there is another killer. Carcharodontosaurus. A predator always looks for the easiest kill, the weak, injured, or young. The Paralititan is all three. In such a deadly game of tug-of-war, there can only be one winner. But the kill is still not certain. Carcharodontosaurus can tackle this youngster, but a herd of 45-ton adults is another matter.
Injured but alive, this youngster has a lucky escape. Encounters like this have left tantalizing clues behind. Amongst the bones of a Paralatitan, we have found a Carcharodontosaurus tooth, suggesting a predator-prey relationship. They complete a global picture, a pattern that is repeated across the world. In Asia, we find Mamenchosaurus and Synraptor. In North America, Diplodocus and Allosaurus, and now Africa. For every giant plant eater, we find a giant predator living side by side. And it's in South America where we have the biggest of all, Argentinosaurus and Mapusaurus, two giants whose fates appear to be inextricably linked. This Argentinosaurus, wounded by a gang of Mapusaurs, has succumbed to its wounds. Out on the plain, other keen-eyed predators are quick to spot a stricken animal. It's a prize worth waiting for and attracts carnivores from miles around. Mapusaurus are not only hunters. Like virtually every carnivore today, scavenged prey plays a huge part in their diet. We know enough about the biology of giant sauropods to estimate of this 70-ton animal. 11 tons is bone, three and a half tons blood, four tons is hide and skin, 15 tons fat, and 39 tons is meat. Enough to feed a whole ecosystem for days. Mapusaurus was reliant on the giant sauropods in life and death. When the Argentinosaurus disappeared from South America 93 million years ago, so did the giant predator Mapusaurus. It was the same story in Africa. When Paralititan vanished, Carcharodontosaurus followed. It appears that these extinctions were linked, and this story is repeated time and again. When the giant sauropods died out, the giant predators lost their main food supply and they too were doomed. <laughs>